Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. I want to walk through how to install Titan Chain Alloy Snow Tire Chains. These are going to come in a set of two, and these are going to be designed for your light snow and ice. These are going to have a diamond pattern design, which means you're going to get a lot more tire coverage, which is going to make starts and stops more effective. It's going to give you a lot more traction in that light snow and ice. When you compare them to like the ladder pattern where they're just that, they look like a ladder. You have one line that goes across every so often you have gaps. We'll put that in a scenario where a stop sign or a stop light and your tire stops in between where the chain is, taking off may be a little bit more difficult than it will with one of these. Now these are going to be SAE Class S rated for vehicles with limited wheel well clearance. We're going to have small D-links. Each link is going to have two flat sides on it so that each uh, D-link is going to wear a lot more evenly. One thing I really like about these, or another thing I really like about them, is they're color-coded, so installing them is going to be very easy. You'll notice we have the green hook here and the yellow chain, along with our rubber tensioner and our red uh, bracket down here that our chain goes through. We're not going to have to climb on the ground or try to climb underneath the vehicle to get these put on. When we compare these to a few other types of chains out there, uh, there are some that have a rubber tensioner that you hit the, you set it here and then you hook it around the chain. Well, what happens if we lose one of the temperatures? Now we can't use the chain, or we have to wait to get another one sent in. Uh, comparing it to maybe the other ones that have a little bit bigger links on them, you may get a little bit better traction, but your ride quality is going to be diminished quite a bit. With the low profile chains, we're going to get a lot better ride quality. Keep in mind, we are only going to have a 30 mile per hour speed rating. Another nice feature with these is they're also going to come with a nice case. Uh, this case is very durable. With the, the bigger style chains, um, they kind of come with a bag. What happens over time is that bag can rip. With these, I don't think these chains are really going to damage this carrier. This makes it nice when we're done with them. Uh, I do suggest letting them dry first, putting them in the case and we can store them in our trunk, underneath the seat, something like that, so they're ready to go for the next time. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get them installed. Keep in mind, we will be installing these on the front wheels because it is a front wheel drive vehicle. If you have an all wheel drive vehicle, we still recommend putting them on the front wheels if you're only using two. However, with an all-wheel drive vehicle, you can pick up an extra set for the rear. To start our installation, we want to lay our chain out. What we're looking for is we're looking for any damaged links, any knots that may be in the chains, or any damage that may be along the wire itself. Now we're going to be installing these on tire size 235, 65, 17. You can usually find that right on the side here. When we lay them out, we want to make sure if we look close at these rings here. You're going to see one side open, the other side is going to be closed. We want the side that's open facing the ground so that when we put our chains on, the open side will actually be out away from the tire. With them laid out, we're going to take our yellow side, we're going to go behind the tire, and then we're going to bring them up and connect them. This gap here, this V, is actually going to be the center of the tire. So we'll take this. I'm just going to feed that around. Like that. We're going to take this end and this end. We're going to come up behind the tire. We're going to take these two ends, connect them together. Pull our chain to the front. We're going to take the green hook, hook it to the yellow link. And we're going to take this top part and we're going to push it back. It's going to kind of help center up the chain. We're going to have a red piece here. You'll notice one side's open, one side's flat. We want the flat side against the tire. We're going to take this gray chain. We're going to feed it through that, the red bracket. You notice the notch there. That's what's going to lock the chain in place once we get it tight enough. We're going to pull that as tight as we can to get that locked in. Now, you can see that we can't quite get it through the rings. 
But what we can do is we can come straight up and we can hook it up here. You notice there's a hook here. I'm going to make sure that the hook is facing out, flat sides towards the tire. I'll try and get that up and as tight as we can get it. Then you can see that it's tight. It's not moving. Once you get one side on, repeat the processing on there. I do suggest driving forward a few feet, checking the tension to make any adjustments necessary. You're ready to go. That's going to do it for look at and installation on the Titan Change alloy snow tire chains on a 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe.